Oh, Air 38. <laughs> what does that mean? All right, we got an air sign. Hey everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. It is a gorgeous day out here. So I think it's an awesome day to do a range test for the Talaria Sting. Now the acclaimed range on the Talaria is about 42 miles at 25 miles an hour. Or if you're in the UK, that is 70 kilometers at 40 kilometers an hour. I believe that's the right kind of math. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. The route that I planned is actually my favorite coffee shop. And I thought that would be a good range test um, to go down there. It's about 15 miles down there and 15 miles back, which is only 30 miles. So if I'm doing my math right, we should still have about 25% of our battery left in the bike when we get back. And I actually have the Suron Supermoto kit, which fits like a glove on the Talaria. So you have it geared down just slightly back here. This is the Supermoto kit, like I said. Um, this is a 32 tooth sprocket. Originally the bike comes with a 34 tooth, so it's geared down just slightly. And that actually might give us worse range. I'm going to have my regen up here on the bike set to four. So it's max regen and that should give us the most range. And I also have my headlight turned off. So that should give us a little more range too. And on that note, let's get started. And real quick guys, before we get this video started, as always, this video is sponsored by Talaria Studios. A lot of you guys are probably already familiar with them as the guys that own and operate Suron Shop. When I found out that the guys that work at Suron Shop are also going to be making parts for the Talaria, well, that was ultimate justification for me pulling the trigger on the bike. And they're very, very good at thinking outside of the box when it comes to parts and upgrades for these bikes. So be sure to check them out guys, link will be down in the description, and let's get back to the video. All right, guys, we are going to regen level four. Um, we are at a full battery. I just pulled it off the charger. Start, and we're off. So I'm going to try and keep my GoPro focus here on this helmet, on this mountain bike helmet. My mount doesn't like to stay very, like, up. So I'm actually going to turn down the regen level to two for right now since we're on flat area. It's really choppy if you have the regen up too high and you're just on flat ground. All right, so we're going a little too fast right now. It looks like we're going about 33, 30. This part, I was gonna be a little sketchy. It's quite a, quite a ways on this gravel. All right, pretty sure I know where I am. The most important thing we're gonna be taking away from this test is the comfortness of the seat, how comfortable it is. Suron seats are not comfortable, so if this seat can impress me, I'll pick this bike all day. Gotta keep up with traffic on this road. This is also, guys, going to be the first time that I'm running my battery all the way dry. So, we'll see what happens. This is the Mississippi River. Absolutely beautiful. All right. I absolutely love the regen button. It's just like, oh man, I want to slow down. Don't use my brakes. I just turn the regen up. <laughs> all right. Let's see if we can right here. Bada bing, bada boom. So like I said, guys, it's a 15 mile trot. We have 56% on our battery. Everything's holding up good, it looks like. 
tires are good. All right. Don't have a tracker on that thing, so hopefully it don't get stolen. Stamp card is fully punched out. Big flex. Oh, thank you. Start. Okay. 56 percentage on the battery. We do have quite a bit of an uphill to go up back there, so. Do, 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 do. All right, so we start our way back. It took us about 40 minutes to travel that 15 miles, and I was keeping it pretty consistently. I was I guess I was going in between 20 and 30, if I had to guess. On that last route, I did have it open throttle for about a minute, so. That, that ate up a decent amount of our battery, probably. All right, we should get on the road here. All right, let's, let's go. All right, we are good. And we have 38% yet. So we're doing pretty damn good. I haven't been using regen at all, so this is minus the regen basically. I was gonna have it on, but it's a lot flatter than I thought. So this bike again comes with brake sensors just like the Suron did. And uh, so like your, your front and back brake sensors and then the kickstand sensor. I left the kickstand sensor on, don't mind that. But the brake sensors, you can't do wheelies. It's really obnoxious. All right, guys, I actually know what I'm going to do, and then we're going to take a little trip in town. We still got 13%, so we're going to try and run this thing dead quick. Oh, what happened? Bike just died. Oh, there, it's back up. All right, so we just hit 10% and it just went to, seems like a limp mode. No motorized vehicles, got it. Yeah, so sport mode, we're open throttle right now. We're not going very fast. It is showing no bars. Yep, so we are going slower and slower. Every creeping minute, every percent, it drops down like we're not even going as fast as we were a little bit ago. Oh, air 38. <laughs> what does that mean? All right, we got an air sign. Bike stop working. Okay, it's back. Air 38 again. Faint red light there. Yeah, just Air 38. It's not letting us ride anymore. I think we're not that far away from home. I don't really know what Air 38 is. Push it home. We're not that far from home. We're going to push it home. See what Air 38 is. So it's at 5% right now, we can turn it on. It gives us an error code. Error code 38 should pop up here. There we go. Whew, all right, so we just got back. So the EPA range on this bike is 42 miles and we got just under 40 with it. So it's pretty darn accurate. If you really wanted to get 40 miles with it, I believe that you could. You could even get 45. We didn't have the regen on at all. So a lot of those factors kind of play in. It is pretty cold outside, which also has a little bit of effect on the battery. So I'd say in between 40 and 45 is comfortably where you can ride on this if you're just commuting. I am gonna do a separate video on trail riding because trail riding and street riding 
are obviously two different things. So next range test, we're actually going to ride it through some trails. We're gonna go up to the bike barn and see actually what the range is if you're actually riding it like it's meant to be ridden on some trails. I suspect we'll get about 20 miles. Yeah, I, it'll probably be like half. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait, the seat test. Better than the Surrounds, but still pretty trash.